<laughs> Three points. One to just emphasize again the crucial point that forget everything else, these cuts, these proposed cuts, are totally economically illiterate. That's the point. It will cost the state infinitely more if these cuts go through than it would if they weren't implemented. That's the first crude hard point that we should never forget in this campaign. Secondly, I ask myself the question, and I ask, really ask the government this question. If legal aid is not there for legal help for the most vulnerable, for the poor, for the marginalised in our society, what is the point of legal aid at all? Why have it? Why bother with it if it's not for that group? And thirdly, and this is something really for non-lawyers, in so many ways, non-lawyers sometimes shy away from issues like this, saying, gosh, it's complicated, it's all to do with law, and, and uh, you know, there must be arguments one way, there must be arguments the other. I don't think this is primarily a legal problem. No, it's not. It really is not a legal problem. It, this is an issue for everyone, every citizen, because it's about fairness and it's about morality. And we should remember that when we're fighting this in Parliament, if that's what we've got to do, fighting it outside Parliament, if that's what we've got to do.